what's up YouTube and I'm back and this is going to be a comparison video of three different types of BS and they are going to be pieced together at different times because when it comes to craft beers they usually cost more so I like to enjoy them relax to them just enjoy the taste and the flavors that come out with a lot of the craft beers and I've got two of them I still gotta get the third one but these are your chocolate peanut butter flavors so I thought about today I was like, man, I said I was going to do this video, and I really wanted to. So I found two of them. I got to go get the third one. But the third one only comes in a, in a liter bottle, so I'm definitely going to hold off on that for now. I'll probably get that later. But I'm going to do this, and then continue watching, because I'll do this video, and then I'll piece together in the next video, the next one, and then I'll piece together in the final piece. And it'll be a three-piece video with breaks, and, you know, that'll be all be recorded at different times, but you'll get the idea. So, the first one I'm going to do is, I've had the first two, I haven't had the third one, I haven't bought yet, but I've had the first two before. First one that I will personally say I've already liked is the Sweet Baby, Sweet Baby Jesus. Sweet Baby Jesus by The Claw Brewery. They are out of, where are you at from The Claw? I don't remember where you're from. You go to theclaw.com, Baltimore, Maryland. So, if you're in Baltimore, you may want to go see, check out The Claw Brewery. Um, and check out their beers. Um, most of their beers are actually pretty good. I got a few different stuff from the Claw today, and Do Claw or the Claw, or however that you want to say it, could be wrong. But anyway, so the first one is Do Claw Brewery, Sweet Baby Jesus. The second one is Evil Genius Brewery, uh, Purple Monkey Dishwasher Fluid, or something like that. And the third one, I can't remember who makes it, but it's called Big Little Gruesome. So. Those are your three chocolate peanut butters that will be reviewed in this video. First one we're starting with though is Sweet Baby Jesus. This is the beer for today. It's I like the name Sweet Baby Jesus. And then of course the claw always puts on the top a lot of times. You can see craft beer be cherished, rules be damned. So it's true. That's one thing with craft beers that like um for example, this reason Anheuser Busch went and bought LSM Brewery is because rules be damned. Craft brews aren't afraid to go out and experiment with different flavors. You go to the store and you do a big a build your own six pack, you should go and buy craft beers with different flavors that you would never try. Don't go buy six different types of Bud Light. That's not worth it. Go buy six beers you may never drink. You should be surprised. You may find something that you may enjoy or you know for next time. You don't want to spend 10, 12, 15 bucks on a six pack of a beer you don't like. I have a couple that sounded interesting that I wanted to try. And I almost bought a six pack of the one, but I decided I really should try it before I buy it. So, build your own six packs for about 10 to, 15, 10 to 12 bucks, 13 bucks, getting that price range, depends on where you live. You can try six different beers, six different craft beers, and you can. Find your taste. Find your taste. Find your taste. Taste is subjective, so everybody's gonna like something different. These are, these are the three chocolate peanut butter ones that I have found. Starting with two claws. So let's pop you open. I got my handy dandy bottle opener, kitchen aid bottle opener. I could really get like a fancy bottle opener when I do these, like some crazy bottle opener. So it is a pop top. And off the top, and it's the thing with peanut butter, any type of peanut butter stuff. Peanut butter usually overwhelms the chocolate or anything else and so smell I got peanut butter and I do have a hidden chocolate out of the bottle I got a lot of peanut butter and there is some chocolate so this is a uh, peanut butter chocolate peanut butter porter so it's gonna be nice and dark and I'm sure you're pouring it wrong you know what I really don't care we're gonna hopefully not spew it all over my keyboard because that would be my luck so here you go it's a nice, nice dark beer. So, I got a lot of peanut butter. A whole lot of peanut butter. Now, if you like peanut butter, this is good for you because there's a whole lot of peanut butter that's hitting me in the nose. I know Anna's a Bush and other big micro, macro brewery, get this before people miss the jumping, say beer's about drinking, not about dissecting and tasting and stuff like that. I call bullshit. I consider beer like wine like liquor it's all about dissecting and finding what you like if you don't find taste that you like why drink it I mean okay fine you can go out and get drunk but there's a science behind beer there's a lot 
with beer that you can actually enjoy and taste is one of them and you can mix and match your beers with your food same with wine you always hear about wine being mixed and matched with food you very rarely hear about liquor but you can do the same thing and beer is another one that you don't hear a lot about mixing and matching but a lot of the craft breweries are trying to get you to mix and match what beer goes good with this food and they'll give you an idea you want something sweet to go with something salty or something a little bit fruity to go with your fish that's what you want so you want to mix and match some so um science magic i know so macro breweries fuck you that's what i say beer's about taste if you don't make a good beer i won't drink it aka most macro breweries out there I must think, well, you drink Sam Adams. Sam Adams is a micro, is a craft brewery still. Just saying. All right, and let's try shit. It's exactly what I'm. It's been a while since I've had this, and I really like it. I've had, I really like this this brew. A lot of people I know don't, but they don't like. I don't know. I think they because they find it weird with peanut butter in their beer. But I don't really get the chocolate on my taste buds. I get a lot of peanut butter. I get the porter and I get the peanut butter. I get the bitterness from the porter beer and then I get the peanut, what I almost want to call sweetness from the peanut butter itself. And I like the combination it brings. Yeah, it's a porter, it's peanut buttery. I really don't get much chocolate. So, um, if it's there, it's very weak, but I'm not getting it. it. I mean, that's me personally. I don't get the peanut butter. I don't get the chocolate as much as I get the peanut butter in the porter, but it's dark as shit. I like dark beers. My first beer I ever drank was Guinness, and I have fallen in love with dark beer since. Yeah. I got peanut butter. I got porter. You get peanut butter, you get porter, and it's like heaven on your tongue. I don't really get chocolate. I mean, my taste buds aren't sophisticated enough to pick up the chocolate, but I don't get chocolate. Peanut butter is strong enough. Porter is strong enough. Those two flavors alone, are, to me, are great. Now, you may not like this combination. I like this combination. But, you know what? Yeah. I can't get enough of it. All right, this, is, this is one of my favorite beers. Yeah. Um, what's the ABC? Six point two alcohol by volume. Porter with natural and artificial flavors. A classic full body with both porter with a smooth dry finish and just enough to hops to balance the aromas of roasted malt, chocolate, peanut butter. So rich that one that one sip and you will exclaim the name. Sweet baby Jesus. So sweet baby Jesus is the first of these. Peanut butter stout, peanut butter porter stout, chocolate peanut butter porter stout, whichever way it is, that I am going to make into this video. I really want some sweet baby Jesus tonight. So, chocolate peanut butter porter, sweet baby sweet baby Jesus by Duclaw Brewery. Link's going to be below to their website. Go check them out. I don't know what to say. I really like sweet baby Jesus. Peanut butter and porter. Like I said, I do not get the chocolate, but the peanut butter is there and the porter is there. So that's part one. Part two is going to be next. And now we're on to the second beer of a our chocolate peanut butter beers. Um, this one is by one I actually came across recently. It is Evil Genius Beer Company. So it's called Puppy Puppy Puppy. Purpy Purple Monkey Dishwasher. It's a chocolate peanut butter porter by Evil Genius Beer. Go to evilgeniusbeer.com. Um, chocolate peanut butter porter. Brewed with natural flavors. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing special. Brewed in Connecticut. Bloomfield, Connecticut. So that's what the label looks like. That's what you're looking for. The E. I think just recently, from my understanding, just recently changed their label to this E was the beer bottle forming the open hole um, and the keg. I love their label. If you look at this label, I didn't realize it until just now too, but you have the beer bottle in the middle and then you have the keg that makes the E itself. So 
It's a pretty cool symbol. I really like this. I really like that logo. I really do. It's pretty cool. So I actually came across this randomly. The other day I was like, oh, that sounds good. Another chocolate peanut butter porter. I'm still looking for, you know, one that tops Sweet Baby Jesus. You know, something that gets a little bit more chocolate with some peanut butter. And I love peanut butter, so Sweet Baby Jesus is fine with me. But I, if I get chocolate peanut butter, I want chocolate and peanut butter. I just don't want peanut butter. I just don't want chocolate. I want the chocolate. I want the peanut butter. And I want the porter. And, again, that's what I want. Even a stout I take. So we're going to pop it off. Like I said, this was a blank, blank, blank. Again, pop top, no more screw, screw. Like I said, I'm using this because I used to go to Bush Gardens all the time. I lived in Virginia, so we are going to pour our beer. And we're going to let it. So this one definitely has A different peanut butter smell to it than the uh, Sweet Baby Jesus did. It's like more of a sweeter peanut butter. Which may be a little bit of chocolate being brought out. That's what's causing this. But it smells, it smells almost like a Reese's Cup. It's like really how I want to compare it. It smells like a Reese's Cup. If you break a Reese's Cup in half and you smell that inner side of the Reese's Cup, it's kind of what it smells like. The peanut you get that slight, slight, slight smell of chocolate with the, with the peanut butter. This is brewed. Was it too do something I can't read. That was a born on date printed on the bottle for uh, Evil Genius right here. You can barely read it, but it's right there. Boom. Right there. There's a born on date on the bottles for those of you that care. So, again, Evil Genius brew beer will be linked below. So, let's taste this thing, see how we got. Yeah, I got peanut butter on the nose. So as far as taste, so initially you get the porter, unlike Sweet Baby Jesus, you get the peanut butter right away. I think you more get a chocolate porter initially. Kind of reminds me of the chocolate porter that I drank from, um, uh, was it uh, New York Brewing Company or whatever the hell it is? They make that double chocolate style or whatever. God, I can't remember the beer now. When I see this, they're always probably like two of them. They come in like four packs. They're really good. Um, but yeah, I kind of get that. And then the back end, I get the peanut butter. So this one's a little different. Like the Sleep Baby Jesus, you got peanut butter pretty much all the way through. This one kind of comes off, you get the porter maybe a hint of chocolate and then peanut butter on the back end so the peanut butter will hit you last at least it's me last again taste is subjective everybody everybody's a little different and um yeah well, that was weird oh, my scat just went completely off my uh steam went completely offline but that doesn't matter so yeah i get porter i get porter it's like sweet and then I get peanut butter on the back I really like this beer and like I said I'm a big fan of peanut butter so it's gonna take a, it's gonna really take a screw up for me not to like if you give me peanut butter on a taste but I'm gonna be a happy camper it's closer to that chocolate beer that I'm looking for with a, with the peanut butter but it's not quite where I would personally want it I like it I do recommend it if you're a peanut butter fan, or if you're looking for something different, Evil Genius Brewer, Evil Genius Beer Company. You want to call it Evil Genius Brewery, but it's Evil Genius Beer Company. I recommend them. It's dark. It's delicious. Yeah, if you like Sweet Baby Jesus, you may actually like this. It's set up different as it hits the taste buds. Like I said, Sweet Baby Jesus hits you front to back with peanut butter. This one seems to be porter and then peanut butter as it goes all the way down yeah what's the ABC on this one or ABV the ABV uh, 12 ounces ABV 
ABV. Uh, um, um, I don't see the ABV. Let's see if I can find this, find this for you guys. The ABV, I have to look it up. <sighs> ABV of evil. Purple monkey dishwasher. Yeah, I gotta look this up on the fly. I thought it was on the bottle. ABV is Beer Advocate has ABV at 6.7. So 6.7. Beer was recently added. 327. So, yeah, again. Uh, reviews are mixed on Beer Advocate. I mean, it's kind of how it is. Um, let's just don't say I'm browsing for average for things. So, average is an 85. Um, 3.76 as a on beer on beer advocate, and then so 85 is the beer advocate score, and Sweet Baby Jesus gives Sweet Baby Jesus a 3.8 rating of an average. And that's 86. So they're both rated about the same as far as Beer Advocate is concerned. So if you care about what Beer Advocate says, they're both rated about the same. So you're pretty much going to get the exact same. Pretty much, it seems to be that you're going to get the exact same quality. You're going to get a quality beer with both of them. Um, I would love to find them on tap. I'd love to find both on tap, but you have on tap. Um, I don't really understand some of these people and their weird scores. But yeah, so... 85, 86, so mid 80s, which in my opinion makes it a really good beer. The Bros gave Sweet Baby Jesus a 70. And they may be a little bit mean about it, but whatever. They don't have evil Pepper Monkey Dishwasher fluid. And the last one I'm gonna do is what is it? Big Gruesome or I don't know what it's called. Gruesome. I don't even know what that was called. I didn't even see it. I don't even know what it's called. Some, the big peanut butter gruesome, big gruesome peanut butter chocolate stout. Uh, is that it? They have that at 92, but it doesn't look like the bottom I'm looking for. Big gruesome chocolate peanut butter stout. Uh, oh, there you go. And they gave that one a 92 with an average score of 4.11. Uh, so, so supposedly the one I haven't bought yet or tried by, is that really by who makes it? Springhouse makes big gruesome. So, the ability that's the best, I, mean, I guess I'm saving the best for last, I guess I gotta go pick it up and try it. So, continue watching this video, I know it's a long video, but we still have one more chocolate peanut butter beer to try for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Actually, change the plan. Put these two up as one, and then put the other one up as the other, so it's a big pair of two, and then I'll tell you guys what the other one's because I don't have it yet. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a good Remember, taste is subjective. Beer is subjective. Not everybody's going to like the same beer. I like my weird flavors. So, I hope you guys enjoy your own weird flavors. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.